welcome to today's video where I'm going to review the Bugaboo B3. Now, you guys know I'm a Bugaboo fan, so I figured I would grab the B just to test it out and see what I thought of it. It's never been a pram that I've really wanted before, but I just thought that I love the rest of the Bugaboos, so I thought I'd try this one out kind of thing. Um, I also bought it as my range of prams that face you and fold down in one um, fold. So the first prim I bought that did that was the Valco Snap Ultra TaylorMade. That is a mouthful. So that folds down facing, pair it facing in one um, movement. Well, not in one movement, you have to tilt the seat and then it folds down, but it folds in one piece and it's a pretty compact fold. The second prim that I bought like that is the Baby Jogger City Versa. Now that is a one-handed fold and that's been like my favorite for the the series so far, even though it's not a real series, but I just really thought that that was an important pram for me to find. And the third one that I bought is the Bugaboo B3. Now, upon buying this, I love that it has such a great canopy, but mine has a few things wrong with it because of the wear and tear of it. But I think it's important to note these things when buying because it has been used and this is what's happened to it in a way. So you can see right now it is um, lying flat. It's a pretty flat um, lay, like laying down pretty flat, but it's not completely flat. You can get a little cocoon and put it on there, or like a bugaboo cocoon, a bassinet, or you can buy capsule adapters as well for smaller babies. We have a five point Harness that breaks into five pieces, which I absolutely love. So clip the five pieces up. It's actually four pieces, but the fifth is where it clips to. I just have this little harness in it, but it does have this beautiful car key seat that I'll show you. So I just wanted to set it up and show you. The seat is actually this color as well, the big bumpy logo. In a reclinable position, so sitting up straight lying down one and lying all the way down and this is achieved on the back by a white lever so anything on a bugaboo that is white does something so to use this all we do is hold the top here with our thumb and use i guess a finger or two to press it and then it will snap into place so it's really easy uh, so let's go on with the seat some more. The seat is pretty cool, but um, I see some design flaws in it. Like whoever did it had a great idea, but perhaps not the most. It actually has an extendable backrest and an extendable seat. So the part where their back goes and the part where their bum goes. So this piece here has a black lever. I don't know why it's not white, because everything white does something, but for some reason, <laughs> and it actually lifts up so there's two black pieces here and then there's a seat lever. Let's forget about the seat lever and look at the two black pieces. We just want to pull them apart. So pull it up and it will actually, I'm just gonna push on the seat here. That's right. And it'll actually extend the seat to a really high seat. So now you can see, it goes all the way up here. It's taken the canopy with it, so it's not going to bother you know, it's not going to have your child's head stuck in or anything. And then the bottom does it as well. So same thing down here is it just has a black piece that we're just going to pull and it's going to extend out. Oh, sometimes it doesn't want to do it. Just pop the brake on. So we want to pull it out. I hate it. Okay, it's out. Oh, okay. See how far out that is now? That's like a huge seat compared to what it started as. Considering the line I've just about um, covered the whole thing and now it's got extra room at the top and the bottom. Uh, one design flaw about this is an older child that hangs their legs over and swings them is going to snap the seat. I believe it's a common thing that happens depending on the weight. It could be that your child is too heavy and out during the frame or it could just be a design flaw. So I wouldn't recommend having it all the way out. I'd recommend just having it one off being completely out because I feel like that gives it the most structure. 
the canopy, I showed you before, is really large. It actually does zip up. I, I just like to have it unzipped to show how large it goes, but that's the standard canopy, even when it's lying down. And then of course we have the extended, just unzips and goes that much further, which is really amazing. I believe this is rated uh, for sun rays as well. On to the handlebar. So it does have an adjustable handlebar all the way up, all the way down. Now you can hear when it clicks, you can stop it at any of these points. So there's actually 10 positions that you can have this set at, which is really cool if you're really short or tall. However, I was pushing the pram the other day and I had the nappy bags over, I had it facing me, and the nappy bag was right down here. It wasn't tippy at all, it was really wonderful and sturdy and I found that amazing because it looks like it could be tippy. But the way that it's designed, it's very, um, it's very well balanced. So anyways, I put the nappy bag over and had it down here at the low center of gravity like I always recommend. And it wasn't tippy at all. The only thing that I noticed is when I was walking that I would kick the nappy bag a little bit. I mean, I know that it's such a long distance, but it did probably come out to here and I would often catch the handle of it. So, I mean, it's, if you didn't have a nappy bag, it wouldn't be a problem, but I just found that a bother to me. Uh, once I was a little more aware of it, I did stop kicking it, but it took me, the handlebar had to come right out to here and I had to like step really far away from it, I guess. So normally I would have the handlebar lower, but I did actually, I'm like five foot something, I don't know. I'm really short. <laughs> so I wouldn't normally have it that high. I'd normally have it this high and yeah. Um, the brake is Australian standard red on the back, one foot, easy to use, great brake. Love it. The front wheels have their suspension and they can also be locked. So just down here, we have this little piece and what it's going to do is lift up on both sides. And now your wheels, <laughs> I mean they've got their suspension still, but now they're locked straight. The wheels, I believe, are actually foam filled. They're a very tiny wheel, but they are foam filled. And it pushed a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bumpy, awful ride. It was actually a nice ride. Um, it pushed nicely. It wasn't heavy to steer. It wasn't um, like weak or flimsy like I really thought it was going to be. Push them back down. Why are you not going down? that one and push that one down. There we go. The basket is fairly decent size and easy to get into even if the pram is laying down. So I suggest accessing it from the front. If Bub's sitting up, obviously a lot easier to get in there. But if Bub's lying down, there's no problem. Let's go for the fold. So we want to take the hood down. And remember I told you that you can fold this pram while facing you. So that's one of the keys that I wanted for this prep. So I'm going to, I didn't mean to do that, but I just shortened the seat on accident. <laughs> you don't have to shorten the seat to fold it. But I'm going to use the seat recline or position seat. And I'm going to actually push the seat all the way forward as far as it will go. And this is going to start our fold. So we've got on the handles, these two white levers with black buttons on top. I'm going to use my thumbs to press the black buttons and I'm going to use my pointer fingers to pull up on the white leathers. So push down with your thumbs, both sides, and pull up with our fingers. And that's going to start the fold. And you can see, oops, I forgot to put the handle down, silly me. That makes it smaller again. So there's your fold with your seat on, which isn't a bad fold, it's quite compact and your seat's on there, so I appreciate that a lot. I believe it's about eight-ish kilos, which isn't too bad, especially to have a small brand that faces you and the world. To unfold the pram, we're gonna pick it up, press the buttons and pull the white levers, 
And then the hardest thing about this pram is finding a spot for your foot and you have to push on it to pull the pram back up. So feet in there. I can't find a spot. Maybe I can just shake it a little bit. No. I'm not a fan of the fold, hey. I just need that to slide down so I can get a foot spot in there. Give me a foot spot. Oh my gosh, there we go. That's a bit crazy, I'm not a fan. Let's take the seat off and do it because I know it is easier without the seat. However, it's not why you want to buy this pram is to take the seat off and fold it. I just want to show you how you're actually supposed to fold it. So, without the seat so you can see what I'm doing. So two buttons, slide it down, really easy. It is even more compact without the seat, obviously. But I feel like if you have this pram, it's like a quick, easy pram. You don't want to take the seat off every time. So unfold. Now I can see if you need to use these or not. Yes, it's locked in place. So we've got, yeah, it's the black buttons and the white buttons. And then we want to just put our foot on the frame and it slides out. Super easy. But with the seat on, I just can't find a spot for my foot. Even like these shoes aren't giant shoes or anything. And I've got to find a spot for my foot in there. Let me just try like one more time. So fold, easy. Now the two buttons, I've just got to find a spot. No, I can't, it just doesn't fit in there. If you're a male with a large foot, I don't know how you're supposed to fold this. Maybe you can press the wheel. Where are you supposed to put your foot? Let's just show you all. This is what I've got to work with. I have to get my foot somewhere in between here somehow. <laughs> I just can't do it. Oh, there we go. jumped while I did it. Honestly, not a fan. You saw how we did it without the seat on, easy as pie. With the seat on, there's nowhere to put my foot. I'm just not a fan. Um, let's take the seat off and face the seat forward. So to do that, we're gonna yank the wood through there and again, push the seat all the way forward. Why is this just being a pain now? And then lift it off. You can see on the side the white connectors and they go on here there's like a little white connector in here and that's pretty easy to do sometimes it takes a little bit of a knack to get used to this but it is um, pretty easy once you figure it out and just light it up it shouldn't be something that you do change around all that often I guess it depends it's not clicked in We've turned the seat around, we've lined it up, and it just actually folds like a normal pram. So the seat can stay exactly where it is in the position that it is, and then you just go straight for, um, put your hand while all the way down, of course, and then you go straight for the buttons. So black buttons with your thumbs and the white leathers with your fingers, your pointy fingers, and it just slides right down like that, which is awesome. And then to get it up and open, you can see how we have a lot more room to get the pram up now. So I just put my foot on and pull it out. So much easier than all the drama and the hassle of folding the other way. But the reason I wanted this pram was because the seat folded the other way <laughs> toward me. Um, and that was the key for this pram and me. So, I'm not a huge fan of the pram. I mean, yes, it does push nicely, but the reason I wanted it was for the fold and it doesn't have a nice fold like that. I have another pram that I much prefer the fold of, so. There's the seat all the way down with that huge big canopy. I'm 
One last thing that I really love about the Bugaboo range, all of them do it, is that if the sun is coming in from one side, let's say the sun is coming in from this side, what you can actually do is to allow Bug to see out, you can uh, pull the hood back on this side. So if they were seeing out, it would probably want to be at least sitting three quarters or all the way up. So let's put them at three quarters. And you can just block the sun coming in from one side and it allows Bub to still see what's going out over here, what's going on over here. So even if you did that, it still helps them. They can still see instead of being completely covered up and then they really wouldn't be able to see too far out, only straight. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up and be sure to check out all my other pram reviews to help you find the perfect pram.